When we think of alien life, our minds often jump to green creatures or science fiction movies as if the concept is just fantasy. But the reality is, alien life may not be as complex or far-fetched as we assume. If you understand just one thing, the vast scale of time in the universe, the idea of intelligent alien civilizations starts to make a lot more sense. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. In comparison, life on Earth began just a few billion years ago, and human civilization? Merely a few thousand. Now ask yourself, what if another planet had a head start just a million years earlier. Imagine a civilization that began evolving just one million years before us. On cosmic timescales, a million years is barely a blink, yet in terms of technological progress, it's enormous. Think about how far humanity has come in just the last 100 years, from horse-drawn carriages to space telescopes, AI, and quantum computing. Now multiply that rate of progress over a full million years. The result being so advanced, their science would feel like magic to us. They might have mastered interstellar travel, bent the laws of physics we don't even fully understand yet, or perhaps evolved beyond physical form altogether. With that in mind, the question shifts from, do aliens exist, to, how could they not? Many leading physicists and cosmologists agree that the existence of alien life is not just likely, it's statistically probable. Professor Brian Cox, for example, has spoken about how the sheer number of planets in the observable universe makes it hard to believe we're alone. He explains that there are billions of Earth-like planets just in our own galaxy, and with over 100 billion galaxies out there, the math strongly favours the existence of life elsewhere. Similarly, Neil deGrasse Tyson often points out that alien life may not even be carbon-based like us. It could be something we can't yet imagine. These expert insights help reinforce the idea that alien life isn't a fantasy, but a scientific expectation based on the scale and age of the universe. One of the most puzzling aspects in the search for alien life is something called the Fermi Paradox. If the universe is so big and so old, and intelligent civilizations are statistically likely, then where is everybody? But what if the silence itself is part of the answer? Scientists like Professor Brian Cox have suggested that advanced civilizations may not broadcast their existence, either because they've moved beyond communication as we know it, or because they've learned that advertising their presence might be dangerous. There's also the possibility that advanced life chooses self-isolation, focusing inward rather than reaching out. Some experts argue that the very act of trying to communicate might be seen as primitive, just like how we don't try to signal ants. The absence of a signal might not mean no one's out there, it might mean they're so far ahead, we're simply not worth talking to, yet. So when we step back and look at the full picture, the size of the universe, the age of it, the possibilities of advancement beyond our comprehension, the concept of alien life no longer feels like science fiction. It feels almost inevitable. The silence, the mystery, the distance, all of it could simply be part of a reality that's bigger, older, and quieter than we are capable of fully understanding right now. And perhaps the reason why alien life seems like such a complex subject is not because it's actually complex, but because we're still too early in our journey. Maybe we're like cave dwellers trying to understand smartphones. The knowledge exists, but we're not there yet. The idea of alien life doesn't have to be about green creatures or UFO sightings. It can just be about acknowledging that we are not the peak of creation, just a small chapter in a very, very long book. A book that may already be written in languages we don't yet know how to read.